Hi, and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to learn how to upload a file that's only specifically for TXT files. And then when we submit it, it's going to output the contents inside that TXT file. In a future video, we'll expand beyond TXT and also do this in Word documents. But for now, we're going to be using TXT. So if we go over to our coding editor, you could already see that I put that I created a form, I created the div where it's going to output, and also created a basic script where when we submit the form, it's going to run this function. Right now, the only thing it does is prevent the page from refreshing with this event.prevent default. Now, oh, the thing is that, as you can see, when I upload We'll click choose file. It allows me to pick JPEGs, PNGs, TXTs, whatever type of file I have. But I want to restrict this to TXT files. And in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my code editor inside the input. I'm going to do accept.txt. Now you can see that when I click choose file, it only has the txt documents. I, uh, I have PNGs, so if I see, if I do all files, I do have the JPEG, but it's restricting me to having the txt document. So this except prevents, uh, subjects me to this one certain type of file. And if I wanted to add more, I could do, put a comma and then put the next file extension. But since I only want TXT, I'm going to leave it at that. The next step is to, once we upload the file, to read it. So inside our function, I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to say var fr is equal to new file reader. And this creates an instance of the file reader class. What does the file reader class do? Well, you can kind of predict it. It reads their file. So just having a variable isn't going to do anything. So this is why we're going to have to obviously use this variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do say vr.onload equals function. And this basically says that when we are reading the function or a one, then we're going to run what's inside these functions. So when we run VR, it's going to run what's in this function. So all we need to do when, the, uh, when this is on load is to output what the file reads inside this diff. So we're going to say document dot get element by ID output dot inner HTML or you can say text content is equal to fr dot result. So this line basically says that after this variable reads a document on load, it will output the tech, uh, the result from that document into this div. So this is doing a lot, but it's going to take what's in our TXT file and output it to the div. But the thing is that it's not going to do anything yet because we haven't called fr. We didn't tell what document it's supposed to read. Now, if you want to have this read multiple, documents you can do multiple here but if not as for now I'm just going to keep it as required and then I'll tell you how you can use multiple in just a few minutes so down here I'm going to say vr.read and you can see that we have multiple options we have read as array buffer read as binary string read as data URL and read as text we want to read as text because our obviously our TXT is made out of text and we want to get the text inside there, not like a binary string or array buffer version of it. We want to get the actual text. 
So I'm going to say fr.readStext in parentheses. We're going to say this, and this refers to the form here. This stuff files. So it's going to take the files that were uploaded inside this form, and we're going to take the first one. And this is where if you had multiple files, you could iterate through this dot files and then do fr to read as text for each one of them. So now if I save this and I go back into my website and I refresh because HTML doesn't automatically refresh, we're going to have to reload the page. I'm going to select this testing right over here. I'm going to click open and submit. Now you're going to notice it doesn't actually do anything. And even if we try to highlight it, it doesn't output inside our div. And that's because I did of zero, but because we only have one file being uploaded, it doesn't know what the zeroth file is. So I'm just going to include multiple and I'm going to go back into our website, refresh the page. I'm going to reselect testing. If you submit it though, it still doesn't do anything. So what are we missing? The thing is that this is specifying to the form. And when we do this.files, it's doing the form files. The form doesn't actually have any files. It's this specific input. So instead of doing mm, add event listener of submit, I'm going to do element of doc picker, which is our input right over here. I'm going to do change. So when it uploads a file, then it's going to automatically output the text contents. So if we go back to the website, refresh it. And if I select testing here and I click open, now you can see it outputs the contents of hello. You see inside my testing TXT file, hello was what was inside. So I hope this video was helpful and see you in part two of how to read files.